Hello, everybody. Hi. I just wanted to share my crazy Christmas stash today. Guys, <laughs> my Christmas stash is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see four of you guys are here. Make sure you guys grab a drink. This is going to be a long video. I have hot chocolate, but I guess I will get started. Hi, Margaret. So I have boxes upon boxes of um, Christmas stuff. And I don't even know if I should be showing you guys because I just got a lot. I can't even open this. Okay. We'll do this sideways so that I can fit on my desk. Because otherwise, nothing's going to fit here. Things are going to be falling over during this video, most likely, because I just have a ridiculous amount of things. Okay, so I have this paper pad called Evergreen Cabin, and it's cute. I only use like a couple of sheets from this, so or I guess a little bit more than a couple because I have these scraps here, and I got these scraps. Um, but I have this one. This one was a $5 hot buy from Michael's called Evergreen Cabin. So I have that in my stash. I have this one as well. And I actually don't really like this one. <laughs> so I got to figure out a project to use it on. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But this one is called Let It Snow by American Crafts. And it looks like this. I used some of the sheets of paper because I did make my babe's advent calendar my like life-sized Christmas tree. Hi Crystal! Thanks for joining! So I did make my babe's life-sized Christmas tree advent calendar last year with this but I didn't use that much paper because um, I probably only used a few sheets because I only covered um, like the square in the front so I don't love this one but I have it. Then there's some random stuff. This one was gifted to me in a swap. Super cute. Um, little like oh this is by Liz Russell and she used like a CD case holder to um, gift it so that's really cute then I have oh I have more of these I thought I ran out okay that's good so I have these Christmas tree um, not what am I saying Christmas tree I was reading Christmas and I'm saying Christmas tree um, so I have these flowers from Hobby Lobby I have these what is this holly mistletoe I'm not sure holly i guess i think these are from dollar tree so i have these i got tons of these bows because i remember buying like a million this year as well i have um i have the snow and cocoa little baggies i used four this year i used the brown craft ones and then i have these ones still so there's that i have some random paper here we got this paper by echo park so there's this sheet there's this one the train's about to go so if you guys are missing the train it's about to come <laughs> this candy cane one i love this one this one's so cute and this is from the collection a perfect christmas by Lori wicklock by echo park so there's that i don't know what this sheet is doing in here oh this is a wintry one so that's why this one is in here um there's this one i don't know why this one's in here this doesn't look really christmasy does it I don't think so. And this is Halloween. Look guys, I don't even know what I have. Let me put that into a different stash. Okay, anyway. So here's some more loose paper. Some snowmans. Snowmen, rather. Some holiday lights. Um, there's this one. This says thankful on the back. Is this supposed to be like a Thanksgiving one? I don't know. This one's by Bow Bunny. Why do I have random sheets? I think, I don't know, years ago, I think I bought like a couple of sheets of paper when I was just making stuff for my boyfriends. <laughs> Snowman! Okay, this was a long time ago that I got those, but I have them. Then, what is this? What collection is this? Um, oh, this is the Snowflake collection. I should probably put my Snowflake stuff with my Snowflake stuff. So this is the Snowflake collection, the stickers. This is from last year. That's when the collection came out. Oh, look, I used one sticker. Oh, two stickers. Look at that. Look how good we did. 
Okay, I have these wreaths. What do I use these for? I've tried to use these so many times on a project and I got no clue. I honestly, I don't know. I tried to layer a snowflake behind it. I tried to put the wreath on there. I tried to put like embellishments on top of it. I don't know. I think it's just so bulky, even though it's like probably only like the bulkiness of like a rosette, but I, I don't know. I can't figure out how to use that. I have these cute little um, Santa hat stickers. What's in here? Oh, look, we got, we tried to organize, I guess. I got an envelope here of stuff. Oh, I think this is stuff I got in, um, in a swap last year. And like, a, I did like an advent calendar swap last year. So I think this is that stuff. So I have these random stickers. I got this cute little embellishment. This is actually really cute. I got these stickers. I got this in a swap last year. I got this. This is Merry Days. I'm going to put that aside as well. I should put that with my Merry Day stuff. Um, so I'll put that aside. I got these Jolie's Boutique thingy-ma-bobbies. These thingies. Oh, actually, this would go great with um, Hey Santa because it's got the pink and the red. I have this gingerbread. These Merry Christmas stickers. Oh, those are going to be really good for Christmas um, card making. I'm going to end up putting everything on the side and then I'm going to have to clean it up anyway. That's going to be the problem. I got this so it's gifted to me. These tags. I should probably use these. I was going to put it on the side again, but honestly, no, I shouldn't. Because then it's all going to be on the side and then I'm just, just, just going to sit there. This little snowflake. What is this? Bookmarks. Do I need bookmarks? No, I'm going to throw that out. I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're cleaning up too. We're doing our Christmas cleaning. I got this snowflake. I, there's the blue one. There's a red one. So I got a bunch of those. Oh, look, I got some sequins. I'll put that in my sequin stash. Okay. I got this ribbon. These are actually cute. I think I used maybe one of these last year. I don't know. I got this. Look at these cute little, um, what are these? Emojis? Thank you, my bobbies. Hi, KW Crafty Corner. I don't know your name, so you're going to have to let me know. I have this embellishment. What are these stickers? Do I need these? Mm, I don't think I need these. Maybe I should do, like, as I'm cleaning up, maybe I should, like, put stuff on the side. If it should go into anything, I took this out of the trash. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Okay, so I'm going to put that and that and on the side. Maybe I'll even put that American Crafts paper pad on the side. Do I need this? Maybe I should put this on the side. I don't need that. Okay, I have this pinwheel. I used some of this stuff last year because it had more snowflakes. So I used some of that. Okay, so I'm going to put this back into this envelope thingy. I guess that's good for embellishments that I could use. Okay, can't close it. Okay. Um, oh, there's two more pinwheels. Okay, so there's that. Throw those in there. Then I have some snowflakes. Oh, these are snowflakes and Christmas trees. Oh, I think I might have opened this and put it together. So there's snowflakes here and Christmas trees and bows. These are from Dollar Tree. This is some super thick chip. Oh, I was going to say it's super thick chip chipboard, but it's double backed. Hi, Michelle. No, right now I'm just sharing my Christmas stash. So this is not me working on a Christmas project. This is me sharing my stash. I kept trying to find a channel so I couldn't kind of find it for the life of me. Remember your name? I love your channel and did it have notifications on. Girl, you got to turn on those notifications, but I'm glad you found me today. Um, so this is some sequins. I can't like I, I made a Christmas album, so that's going to be going up this week. I used almost a whole entire paper pad. I used... 43 sheets out of 48 so that's going to be going up this week but right now i am just sharing my christmas stash why do i have two of these oh i guess i got them on tuesday morning so this is the holly jolly collection just some chipboard i think that's probably all i have from that chipboard we got some random die cut i'm gonna throw these out i don't need those some more bag topper thingies i really don't need these i i used to buy like some kits and stuff when I like started, I don't need any of this. Like, yeah, I could decorate this and whatever, but to be honest, like I'm not gonna use it. I always craft with like a specific collection. 
Same thing with this. I'm just, okay, let's just throw this out. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, look at this. Oh, I made this last year. I was playing. Oh, it got ruined with all my stuff in there. Look how cute this is. But I'm going to throw it out because it died. Um, but I have these die cuts from the Snowflake collection that I did make last year. So I'm going to save those. And I'll, maybe I'll put that with my Snowflake stuff. Um, oh, wow. I have all of these um, print and cut things that I cut out. Hi, Sandra. So all of these. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to use it. It's on, I can make another one. I have that foam for the lollipop if that's what you were talking about. But all these die cuts that I print and cut myself. So I should put that aside and use that. I'm going to put everything aside and then... Oh my goodness. Oh look, I got snow and cocoa. So this was a gifted one. It got um, a cute little topper and this is just one I had. This should probably go into a snow and cocoa stash. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a million things all over my floor because apparently there's not enough. Um, this little deer ornament, am I gonna use this guys? Should I get rid of this? Let me know. Hi Deb. Hi Jovi. Yeah, I have three boxes like this, so we got a lot of while to go. I hope you guys um, have a cup of tea. I told you guys, I warned you to grab a cup of tea. There's this die cut in here. It's blue. I don't craft it's blue. Let's throw that out, too. Um, these snowflakes. I have these random thingies. These are cute. These are good, like, behind um, rosettes and things. I have this I made last year. <laughs> Look how cute. But I don't need it, so I'm going to throw that out, too. <laughs> Okay, uh, the gingerbread just gave me inspiration. Oh, good! I'm glad! What are you gonna make? Hi, Patty! How you doing? Um, so I have these snow and cocoa things. Let me throw that on the floor with my snow and cocoa stash. There's this ephemera. Oh, this is, um, uh, gift tags. <laughs> if I don't throw it out, it's just gonna sit here. Okay, I have these, um, snowflakes. Silver? Why would I buy silver? These little mint bottle brush trees. I bought this last year at Dollar Tree. It was like a headband. Um, <laughs> send it to you. I can send it to you, but you gotta pay shipping. Um, these bottle brush trees. I'm not, like, this isn't the stash video. I, I don't know. This is me sharing my crazy Christmas stash. Maybe I should just put everything I'm trying to get rid of and just put it in a pile. How about that? I'll do that for you guys. Luckily, my garbage is just full of paper because it's just my craft room garbage. So it doesn't have anything else in there. So I could just take it back out. Okay. All right. Okay. So then I have this thing. Wait, I never finished this. So I got this off of um, a headband last year. And I thought this would be really cute to layer in a project. So... And there's this thing, nice little tag on there. What am I doing with this? I have no clue. I should probably get rid of that too. I'll put it in my sash. I got these giant doilies, but these are gonna be good um, to decorate stuff with. Oh my God, my hot cocoa is getting buried here. Why am I putting this on this side? I have these trees. I really should do a de-stash. But I gotta like figure out what I want to keep and don't want to keep. I have these deer ornaments. I got these birds. I don't want those. To be honest, I don't want these bottle brush trees either. What am I doing with this? Nothing. Okay. And no, I didn't put it in the garbage, guys. I put it on the side. We'll see what I do with that. I don't want this either. This is good. I get to go through things, decide what I want, don't want. This is great. Okay. Um, this tag, is there anything on here? No, I think someone made this for me. I have these bottle brush trees. Why do I have so many bottle brush trees and I don't even know how to use them, let alone these things. Those are gonna go in my de stash thing too. Um, maybe those two. Okay, I have this that somebody made. This is cute, I could include this into something. Cute little card with the envelope. Um, this tag. Oh, I could use that on something. Let's put, that, let's put that with snow and cocoa. Oh, look, I do have the Holly Jolly paper pad. Hi, Grindelia. Did I say your name right? Um, so this is, oh my God, look how cute. Oh, it's double-sided. I just, I don't know what to use six by six paper pads for. 
But I got two chipboard to go with this. Um, this snowflake stuff. Let's put that into the snowflake pile. Oh, this snowflake stuff. Let's put that into the... Oh, this is the 6x8 paper pad, in case you guys don't know. Snow the snowflake collection. Well, see, the problem with Christmas is, like, I love Christmas. Christmas is just once a year, so we buy, 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 but then you only come back to it, like, once or twice a year if you do Christmas in July on top of that. So I have those enamel dots. All right. Oh, look, here's another Holly Jolly paper pad, but it's a different one. This is this one. What should I do with 6x6 six six paper pads? Let me know, guys. Okay, I also have this one. This one's from Hobby Lobby. I have so many little paper pads and I never like gravitate towards these because I don't know what to do with them. The good thing is I want to be making a lot more albums. I found this too. I want to be making a lot more albums, so I'm going to be using up a lot of my paper. I like like I said, I just used up like one whole one on um on an album I just made. Oh, I have two of these because, you know, when oh, these are different. <laughs> when you go to Tuesday morning and they have something, you grab it. That's just how it works. So I have that. I have this one's not even opened yet, but there's this one. Hi, Kelly. Oh, look, here's another six by six. Oh my goodness. These are printed cuts I did last, or printed paper I printed last year. Should this go into my D-stash pile? Does anybody want this? Or should I throw this out? Let me know. Um, I have a Halloween bin and my daughter, she's 14, wanted to make a Christmas card. I told her I did not have a Christmas bin. She said, what? We need to make one. <laughs> yes, you do need to make one. Um, as if you were sharing more, you used to do a video. I hauled it and this is what I made. Wait, what did you make? Oh, hi, Deb. Did I say hi to you yet? Hi, Angie. Okay, I don't know. I'll, I'll put this in my de-stash pile. Okay, so I have this paper pad. I think this one was from AC Moore, but AC Moore has since shut down, I think, because I think the Love Nicole was AC Moore. I might be wrong. Oh, look, I have some word stickers. Oh, these are actually kind of thick. I don't know where these are from. Oh, Target Dollar Spot? Oh, that's cool. So I got those. Oh, let's add this to that pile. Um, okay. Oh, look, more sequins. So I have these blue and white snowflakes. Oh, look, another one of these Santas. More things I cut and then stuffed some beads in there, I guess. We're going to have to put all this back into this bin. This stuff I made last year, I was using some dyes. I'm never going to use these. I don't really do this kind of stuff, so I don't know. Um, what is this? Oh, these are little tags. A decorated little baggy. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, little stickers. Oh, those are cute to seal up like a card or something. I should like put that aside. I'm going to be putting it. You guys see this right here? I'm putting everything on the side and then I'm going to just throw it back in here. That's, oh, look at this cute little bow. I know I have a stash of that somewhere. Okay, so I also have this paper pad called Gilded Berry. Another $5 hot buy. It's Christmassy, just like a purple Christmas. Um, okay. I have this one. I try to craft with this one, but it's got no cut aparts. It's called Winter Dream. But it doesn't have any cut aparts. And to be honest, I don't love all the papers in here. I use some. So I guess this is some winter stash too. Oh, we got some loose papers. Oh, look, we got, oh my goodness. This is still the first box. Oh, this goes with what I had before, my single sheets. I didn't put those back in here. No, I didn't. Um, so there's this one. There's this cut apart one. Yeah, the purpley one is pretty. Did I tell you the name? It's called um, Gilded Berry. 
It was, I think it was last year from Michael's. Most of the stuff was actually last year because I wasn't really crafting the year before that. Was I crafting? No, wait, last year. So last year is kind of like when I was getting into it. It was my first time doing a swap and everything. I just really started in August last year. So I built up most of my stash last year, which is probably the saddest part about all this. But, you know, you got to build up your stash to then be able to use it, right? So that was part of, I guess, the perfect Christmas papers. And then I have this one. This one was from a paper pad. These are thin papers. Um, but this is a paper pad that I think it was from Hobby Lobby and it had all the different seasons in it. So I just took apart the Christmas one and I put it in here because it's Christmassy. I love the traditional too. I love the red and green and then you throw in some pink in there and I'm like, that is my idea of, oh look, I have the whole collection of perfect Christmas. Why isn't this in its own little thing? Um, this I got last year too called Hol Holiday Ballet and... It's got like nut crack. Oh, look at that one. This sheet is so pretty. Little cookies. I don't I don't do nutcrackers really. I know some people are fans of like nutcrackers. I don't know. I never got into the whole nutcracker thing. Just this year I started liking gnomes out of nowhere. Um okay, so I should probably put all my perfect Christmas stuff together. Um, here's the sticker sheet that goes with it. Oh, here's another one. Oh, look, I did use some of it. I used three stickers. I'm so proud. <laughs> so proud of myself for using three stickers. Okay, so that's part of my perfect Christmas. The, oh, we got a whole other collection. This one's called Kringle. Um, I have these stickers. I think these are from Snowflake. I'm liking the bin you have. I have two 12 by 12 cases and you probably get a deeper bin instead of two separate. Yeah, um, get the, these are, I think the iris bins. Oh, these are the snowflake stickers. I just took them out of their packaging apparently. But I did use some, look, I used a hat. I used some word ones, some s couple of snowflakes. I used more here, but not enough. Did not use enough. Um, oh, I have the chipboard here. Oh, I have two chipboard. Christmas Dash 2020. This is like 2019 to 2020. Let me get an envelope because I like to put some collections together. And I'm going to start putting my snowflake. So I use these things. This is how I normally store my crepe paper ones. So we're going to put my chipboard in here. And I know it's not 12 by 12 size, but it works for me. Okay, and then we have all of this snowflake stuff. I know I have a 12 by 12 paper pad too. It might be in the other box. So we'll get to that. I only have a Hobby Lobby, so if I get from Joann's or Michael's, which is rare, because shipping, I have to order online. Oh, see, Hobby Lobby is so far from me. It's like, a, I mean, it, it's like a 45 minute drive. So I have this, this garland from Dollar Tree last year. I have this, and I have the worst Joann's ever. It's got like no paper. I went to New Jersey all the way to Joann's and I found like this great Joann's over there. Um, I live in New York, guys. <laughs> I have this one. I got this bow I made last year. I could use this for something. I have a shaker I made. Uh, where do you order those envelopes? They look nice. These, they're from Amazon. I could have a link um, down below later. They come in a giant pack. They're by here. You might be able to look it up. It's J P S O R. That's like the company on Amazon. So you might be able to look it up. And they just come in like a giant pack. So I got a ton. Um, let's see. Oh, I had this little coffee cup. Oh, two of them. Oh no, one's just the backing. So I think I meant to do a card with that. I did one with this last year, but. The one with no paper must have been the smallest Joann's. I have like two Joann's, but they're they're more fabric. They don't really have paper. This I made like a memory decks card with this last, not memory, no, I made um, a card. So I was making a Santa or like Santa in the bag. I got these jemmies. These are, I think, maybe Hobby Lobby. Okay, guys, now I have to put everything back in here somehow. I feel like this needs to be better organized 
shapes somehow. Maybe I should just go, uh, after this video, I think I'll just go back and reorganize everything. But I just gotta put it kind of in here for the time being so I can get to my next box. Wish we had a do uh, Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree here in Alaska. We only have Michaels and Joann's. Oh, that's so sad. When I first got a Hobby Lobby here, like I was obsessed. I mean, I just discovered it last year. It's still far, but I try to go every so often. Okay. So let's move this one kind of out of the way. Oh my God, there's gonna be stuff falling all over my room. Okay, let me go through a million paper pads that I have just laying around. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't really know what's what's here. I know I have a lot of this, this Christmas plaids. I have a ton. There was, um, they were on sale for $5. And I think I have like four of these because I love plaids. So I have this one from Michael's. It's so cute. I wish they had some with pink. Um, but I think my favorite one is, where's my favorite one? It's black and white. Did I miss it? Wait. Where is it? Okay, it's in here somewhere. Hold on. Just past it. This one. I really like this one for some reason. I don't know why. And I also like there's a green one in here. Okay, so this one I used. Look at all those scraps in here. This is the same one. There's one that's kind of slightly different. Um, but I have a lot of those. These I got this year at Hobby Lobby. And I was like, ooh, these are going to be cute. Um, for charms and stuff. Someone, you, caused me to buy a ton of paper at the Mighty Month ago during a Michael sale. Well, you know what? When they have a sale, you got to buy them. I have these charms. These cute little charms. Um, oh, here's those little bows. These are from AliExpress. They're super cute. Um, these stars, I have, oh look, more ornaments. This one says Merry Christmas. I tried to use this this year, wasn't working already. These flowers, so these are um, a mix between two different kinds of Hobby Lobby flowers. I actually bought these this year and I used up a bunch so then I just combined them into one packaging. I have this random set of die cuts by scrapbook.com. These are the ones on the back. If I ever go to America, Hobby Lobby would be my first stop. Really? You would choose Hobby Lobby first? I'd probably go to Michael's first if, like, there was no Michael's over there. Um, this I got in somebody's de-stash, like, a couple of weeks ago. I have all the stuff, and yet I keep buying. This one I thought would be really cute to try and do a video of making, of using up a whole 6x6 paper pad and making cards. That's exactly what I was thinking when I saw this one. Then there's this one that I got in a D stash. I need to think of like what to do with all these. This one I got this year, Winter Wonder, because I decided the other one was the only blue paper pad I had that I didn't love. So this is this. That's from this year. Um, this one's this year. This one's from Joann's this year called Dear Santa. Oh, wait, this is double-sided. Let me go like this. Hobby Lobby first. They have half off, supposed to 40%. Michael's doesn't have that. Well, Michael's does. Um, I had 40% the other day on something. They used to have 50% offs too. Um, I think you just have to be a rewards member. Um, this one is Mary Mod, but I guess, I guess you're right. I mean, yeah, Hobby Lobby has the sales more often without needing a coupon. This one's Mary Mod. I got this one this year as well. So cute. Don't know what I'm doing with all this paper. This I got in somebody else's D-Stash. Merry Little Christmas, um, Euphemera. And the stickers, because I had the paper pad i have it also somewhere so i used up this whole entire paper pad this year as well minus a couple of sheets that i 
and like these are my scraps um so i was making a whole bunch of traveler's notebooks with this one so i have a whole bunch of tags there's this sheet that i don't know how to use so there's two of those oh i guess yeah i think there's two somewhere there's another one somewhere there's this sheet more tags some of this green plaid oh here's that other sheet again and then i have some scraps um i did recently find another merry little christmas at tuesday morning so i'm happy about that because i was like it's so cute i don't i don't want i didn't want to say goodbye so i went out and bought another one because that's what you do apparently if your name is carolina then this one is the one i used for the album this year i have a few scraps left and i was thinking i could you do a scrap make cards with scraps so there's no more full-size sheets in here actually no there is there's this this one that has the numbers there's two of those and this one um those are the old oh wait no there's this this full size sheet which how do you use this it says happy holidays um you don't but those are the only full size sheets i have left everything else is just like scraps like this some little like squares and things so i thought i should do maybe like a card thing that was actually i was what i was thinking like for my maybe my next live if you guys would be interested in that let me know like if i should use up the scraps of this and make a whole bunch of cards let me know if that would be fun um let me read the comments um no okay nothing really new this one was this year called white christmas another hot buy from michael's so I had to, oh my, there's the train. I had to get it because it's $5. Like that's the, that's the problem. I love my, I only buy paper when they're $5 from Michael's. The big sheet might be able to make a big envelope. I was thinking that, but I'm like, it's not going to look right because it, it's kind of like, it has to, I feel like it has to go together. This one I got this year as well called Sugar Plums. And I got it, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the purple. I could deal with the blues, but I don't know, the purple. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see what to do with that. So this is another, look at this, another plaid one. Oh, like it was $4.97. Like, how do you say bye? You don't, you, you, you can't. I mean, you can't say no to these. So I have literally three of those. But then this one I got this year as well. And this one's a little different. It's also called the Christmas plaids. But it's, I guess, by recollections instead of craft smart. But, I mean, some of them are kind of like the same. I don't understand this paper pad. It's like the same, but some, like, very few sheets are slightly different. So I have four christmas plaid ones now then there's this one wrapped with care this one i also got this year from michael's i forgot who said one who said they wanted to go to hobby lobby but don't you want to go to michael's now if you ever came to america because i mean hobby lobby doesn't really have that much good paper i don't think they do oh you worked with sugar plum this year i have to figure it out i don't know um, okay, hold on. Let me get to my next box. Let me stack all those paper pads on top of one another. Oh, look, I got these buttons this year. I found these for $1.24 at Hobby Lobby this year in their clearance section. Got just random Christmas buttons. Um, so I got those. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to clean this off in order for me to put up another box up here. ready for box number two because there's still a box number three waiting for us so here's box number two those paper pads i just showed you weren't even in a box they're just on a stack on my floor so you need to go to michael's too now um i sandra my store had so many of the sugar plum ones i found so many so i got these random snowflakes i did use a couple this year um this i have i used one whole collection already this year merry and bright so see guys look i have a lot but i also feel like i've been doing pretty good using up some of the stuff so i love this collection it's called merry and bright 
from my other one, all I didn't use was a sticker sheet and some of the cut aparts from one sheet, but all the other sheets I used. So I am really happy about that. I love this paper pad. This I got last year in a swap. This cute little like shaker. I go to a lot of different um, Michaels sometimes to find the things I'm looking for. I'm always like out and about and around at different locations. So I just go wherever I am. Simple Stories foam stickers. I don't, I can't remember. I might've gotten these this year. Are those called super satchels or something? Those deeper ones? What deeper ones? Are, what deeper ones? What are we talking about? Definitely to build my Christmas stash and start a Christmas bin. I need to get rid of some of my Christmas bin. I got these chipboard phrases. These are by Echo Park, a lumberjack Christmas. And these I thought would be really cute because it's all mostly, um, they're all like pretty much sentiment. So I thought this would be cute in making cards. I have this, these little thingies from Hobby Lobby. I do use those. I have this trim. I think I just got this at Tuesday morning. I got these, these are clothes pins for Christmas. I got a deer, there's a mitten, and there's a Christmas tree. I have some of these candy cane things. I love these, these are from Joann's last year. They're great to attach like on a project and then you put like a dangle off of those. That's how I did it this year. That's actually how I figured out to use them this year because last year I couldn't figure it out. I got these random Santas. There's those little Santas. Um, some more bells. Lots of bells. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lizzie. Um, so these little snowmen um, bells. Those are really cute. Um, I have snow and cocoa. I did get lucky and I found this last year at Tuesday morning. So here's snow and cocoa. That's true. A lot of things are in store only. Um, oh, here's the snowflake paper pad. This is going to go with my snowflake. Oh, I should make a snow and cocoa stash too. Like in those little envelopes. But here's snowflake. I did use this last year for a swap and I still have a million sheets of paper left. Let me put this into my snow and cocoa though. I seem to think that my favorite um, collections are like crepe paper, but then I only use them for swaps usually. Um, and then for my own crafting, I tend to go towards like the Craft Smart paper pads from Michaels. Um, so this I got last year as well. Haven't used it yet. This is um, Sweetest Christmas by Minte by Carola. I got it. Or Carola is, I guess, how you would say it in Polish. Um, but I got it last year. And I haven't used it yet. It's got cute papers, but I don't love, like, these big sheets. Because I don't know what to use them for. I love this sheet, though. I mean, it's, like, super sturdy paper. So I love that. I love this one. Like, there's some sheets I love in here. And then... Like, even this one. Like, how would I use this sheet? And then some sheets I really just don't know how to use. I guess I could use parts of it. Um, so there's this one. What's your favorite, Lizzie? It's not, it's not Halloween. It's, but I kind of went overboard with Christmas craft supplies this year. So, wait, Halloween is your favorite crafting holiday? Is it bad if you have a Christmas room? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what my room is turning into. Um, there's this one from last year called Sugar and Sparkle, the hot buy from Michaels. I used a few sheets of this this year as well. There's some cut aparts and some scraps I have. Uh, here's just a whole paper of just more scraps. This one's actually a 12 by 12. I don't remember where I got this though. Um, but this has just a whole bunch of scraps. I have this sticker book I got last year, I think. 
from Hobby Lobby. I should use that. I have these little um, Santa hats. Um, so I have this sheet randomly. It's kind of getting curled up in my bin here. And then I have this one randomly. But I like, I, I think I like this back side better. This one's like ivory. I have this that I got in a swap. Oh, better for you. Great. Yay. Okay. I got this in a swap last year. Look how cute this is. This is from Scrap Nuts. Yay. I'm glad you love it. Thank you. I will log off and come back. Maybe I need to clean my glasses. What size are you in a t-shirt? Well, I'm wearing a sweater dress right now. I think it's a medium. Um, I'm anywhere from like small and mediums. I, I like baggy stuff though. Um, but if I want like a tight fitting t-shirt, it would be a small. I have these. Oh good. I'm glad it's better. I didn't even realize I got all these pom-poms. I think I got more from Dollar Tree this year. I got these in a swap, I think. Um, I have these snowflake thingamabobbies. Um, this is from Merry Days. This is Ephemera. I gotta make a Merry Days. Oh, I, I do have a Merry Days pile somewhere. Because I just got some of that stuff. Oh, this is from Merry Days. This is like the only stuff I was able to find from the Merry Days collection last year. Once I discovered Tuesday morning. I discovered Tuesday morning last year in October. I have this random um, mason jar embellishment that was gifted to me. I have, I guess this is an embellishment. Oh, it's a little snowman and then there's like a tag. And, okay, let's take it out. Um, oh, it's like a little snowflake. And these are little snowmen. Okay, so I have those. Then, oh, look, there's also little um, mittens. Those are actually kind of cute. Um, then I have these. What am I going to use these for? I don't even know. Um, I have this paper pad and actually mommy, what is it? Mommy and her four little ladies, mommy and my four little ladies on Instagram. She made some flowers with this paper pad that I saw today. I think she used like this black, um, sheet from it and her flowers turned out so stinking cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I have that paper pad. I'm pretty sure it was this one that she showed me. I have this one. Lots of November birthdays. Cute and Cozy Christmas. Also from last year. From Michael's. Look how cute this one is. I did see another one this year at Michael's. That was also marked down at my store. But I didn't need another one. It's cute, but I haven't even used this one yet. I have these little bows. They're cute, right? The snowman heads. Um, do you use embellishments that others make um, on your own projects? Yes, I actually do. Um, when, like, so it depends. Like, it depends on what I'm making it for. For swaps, I usually make my own. For challenges, I will use other people's um, embellishments. Actually, I did use some ros uh, rosettes that I got from somebody um, just recently in my group swap. Oh my god, I just stepped on some paper. I guess it was like stickers, and then it got stuck to my sock. That's how you know you have a mess in your craft room. So here I have some um, charms. These are my Christmas charms. A little deer AliExpress, guys. I don't know where these are from. Little candy canes. This is from Dollar Tree. I used a bunch this year, so I bought a bunch more. They're still sitting in brown paper bags on my floor. I have these um, charms, these little trees, these random snowflakes that I transferred to little baggies, and then this that I don't really know how to use. But I guess I could just use some hot glue on that or something. I love the charms too. I, I don't really have much of a charm stash. I mean, I feel like I have more of a charm stash now after my challenge. And I just ordered like a bunch on Ali. So I'll do a haul video when that comes in. I have these thingamabobbies. I think these are from something from Hobby Lobby maybe. I got these. 
bells. I got these. And guys, I actually paid the $5 for this <laughs> at Michael's this year because I didn't have a coupon. But I really wanted those glittery ones. But now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have glittered up some of my own. I got these um, little snowflakes. This pop-up box. So this is a pop-up box that's supposed to pop up. This is my first trial and error one. It doesn't really pop up well anymore. Okay, let's throw that out. Don't need that anymore. I got these snowflakes last year from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I got, oh, look, I got these little um, peppermint things. How old am I gonna be? Is that who we're asking? Oh, Sarah. Um, is ornament frame. What am I using this for? I don't know. Target dollar spot. It uh, it had those at Dollar Tree. What was that Dollar Tree? The snowflake things. Um, this is snow that I just put in a jar. Mod Podge and glitter. Yes, exactly. I probably should have done that. I didn't think of it when I saw them in the store, but I have the snow stuff. I should probably use this. I've been using like my, it's like a different kind of snow, like a kind of adds dimension that I've been using, but I should probably use that and then add that to that. Uh, what are these? Little gingerbreads, gingerbread men. These are little snowmans. I don't need these. Um, snowflakes, little blue snowflakes. Who's my, who's my moderator here? Is there a moderator in here? How do I make people moderators? I don't know. Oh, Sandra. You're a moderator now. I, I nominated you. Okay, this is uh, last year as well, Mrs. Claus by Craftsmart. Look, I love, I love, love, love this plaid. I don't know what it is about me and plaids. I love plaids for any season and I really wish they would make more for um, fall. Like I just want like a nice orange plaid. I tried to buy some on Etsy, like printables, but then I hated it. But look how cute this one is. This is from last year as well. This one's so cute. Here is, um, oh, these are holiday glitz glitter. I don't like that gold in here. I, I don't, like, I have so much glitter paper. I don't ever, like, actually use those from my Christmas stash. Oh, look, I got some poinsettia. Are these poinsettias? I think they are. Oh, oh, those are the ones I got this year. I didn't think I had any more of these. See, this is why this is good. We're doing some organizing. This Christmas Wishes die cut shapes from Spellbinders. They were having a 40% off sale last year or something. So I got a bunch of those. Um, Sparkling Holidays Spellbinders. Um, more die cuts. I think this is also I got. No, I don't know where I got this. I might have gotten this from Spellbinders when I ordered from them. Maybe they had this. I don't know. Oh, here's some more snowflake stuff. I'll put this in my snowflake pile. Where did my snowflake pile go? Oh, right here. Okay, so put that with my snowflake pile. Oh, look, another one of these things that I don't know how to use. There's this. These are cute. Little, they kind of look like watercolor. But they're cute little like animals. And they're pastel-y Christmas. I should use those this year. I have to still work on my pastel Christmas swap times two. Um, candy cane buttons. Those are really cute. And then I have this. Look at this. Happy Holidays by Craftsmart from last year. Look how cute. And guys, I want to be making a doggy album for my dog. Not a Christmas one. I'm just going to make a general dog album because he's going to be 11 in February. And I just need to make an album to remember him forever and ever and ever. Um, he's still going to be living for a really long time, you know. But I need to take more photos. Because these are crazy times and you never know what's going to happen. Right, let me just put all this back so I can grab the next bin. My last bin. So anyway, I want to make a doggy album for my doggy. With all the awesome photos. Anyone else separate their winter from Christmas crafts? 
Do you? Is that why you're asking? I don't because I only have, I don't have a lot of winter stuff. Like I might have a couple of snowflakes, but snowflakes I also use in my Christmas. And I only have like two full on winter paper pads. Everything else is Christmas. Oh, did this get empty? Oh, we got all this still. I was like, how did this get so empty? Let's just throw this in here. How did this get so empty? I feel like I got so much more space in here now. What happened? Okay, so, oh, we forgot my snow. Okay, so that was box number two. Let me get box number three. Okay, here's box number three. Let me take a sip of my hot cocoa. Is anybody else drinking anything right now? I got pumpkin hot cocoa, but yeah, we're doing a Christmas video. <laughs> okay, so box number three. Oh, I do have a snow and cocoa pile here. Um, I have this ribbon. You're drinking chai tea? Oh, I love chai tea. Ooh, passion fruit tea. See, look, I got this. I think this is from Dollar Tree. Look, it's like cut off with the snowflakes. Is that how it's supposed to be? Does anybody have this? Um, these bins were from Michael's, I believe, online. Oh, ginger ale nursing a cold. Aw, hope you feel better soon. I got this candy cane one. I feel like I'm going to have some doubles in here. Got this one. I love this one. This one's really cute. Isn't that really cute? Um, no, they're, they're bigger than 12 by 12. They are from Michael's because I got them last year when I was trying to um, store stuff. I think they're from Michael's. I'll, I'll check. Maybe they're from Amazon. I'll check and then, um, I'll put like the name or whatever the information down below. Um, here are some mini bows that I have. I love bows. Look at this. I love my bows. I think I got these last year, maybe. Maybe this year. I don't know. Can't remember anymore. Some glitter or ribbon. Some of this ribbon I got this this year. I don't know. Isn't it cute? I don't like, I don't do a lot of black for Christmas crafting, but I thought it was so cute. Um, I have this Ephemera by Sugar Cookie by Prima. I only have two things from there. There's this one and this chipboard because I don't love Prima. <laughs> I I know you guys are probably gonna be like, what? I have like um, their pumpkin and spice collection because I just love pumpkins, but it's like so vintagey to me. So I don't really do a lot of Prima. Um, here's some mini bows. Hi everybody, saying hi. We're, we're getting to the pretty little stuff. Yes, the pretty little stuff. Oh, look, more um, mini trees that I don't know how to use. Oh, look, more of this that I already saw. Let's put that back with my snowflake stuff. Did I show you guys this one yet? No, I showed you guys the other one. So this is actually ribbon I've been using this year already. I've used a little bit of it. Oh, look, here's a 12 by 12 size of snow and cocoa. I do have a snow and cocoa box. What is happening here oh my goodness let's come back to that let's do all this other little stuff oh my god i just got bags upon of bags what is in here look at all this ribbon okay more ribbon that i started putting on these thingamabobbies because i was like they're taking up too much space this one also had more but i used some <laughs> if you move in you gotta help me craft we're gonna be making lots of albums. How about that? <laughs> Some baker's twine that looks Christmassy and it's in a little gingerbread shape. Look how cute that is. Um, this trim. I love this one. This is from, I think, Walmart last year. It says ho, ho, ho. Bye, Sarah. These pom poms. Thanks for stopping by. Oh gosh, I bought so many this year. I was like, I don't have any Christmas pom poms. And look at all these pom-poms. Let's put that in my de-stash pile. I have this ornament filler. Let's put that with my sequins. Just throwing stuff around my room here. 
Um, oh, look, bows. I used up a lot of bows last year, so I made sure to buy a bunch this year. Um, and then some of this holly kind of stuff. Oh, look, more ribbon, just thicker than the other ones now. It is time to shop my craft room. It really, really is. Except I just bought another Hey Santa paper pad. I didn't even show you guys that, but I have the Hey Santa collection. I'm actually crafting with that right now, making some traveler's notebooks, and that's what I was doing before I got on here with this video. But I knew I wanted to do this video. I just, I was dreading editing it. So I was like, you know what? We just got to do a video or a live rather. This wireless tinsel stem. Is this like fuzzy? Oh, I know what I could use this for. I can make cute little like cards. And if I do it in the shape of like Santa or something, I can make that like the trim on the jacket because it's not wired or anything. More bells. Because I love my bells. More snowflakes. Ornament thingies. Oh, look. More candy cane trim. Oh, look. More ornament filler. I think I got some more this year as well. That's still on the floor. So, oh, more of these puffy snowflakes. I showed those somewhere before. Some of these jammies. Look at this. Um ribbon thingamabobby. Don't know where this is from. This was gifted to me. Oh, look, more snow and cocoa. That wasn't even in my box. 12, uh, not a 12 by 12, six by six paper pad. Um, here, oh, here's that other trim. Lives are nice, like how you organized it. I have so many of those bins and gave them away. Now you're regretting it. Um, you should have given them to me. I need more bins. <laughs> Do you see this? I can't even organize all my stuff. This was gifted to me this year. These little charms. Oh, look. Did I? More, more jemmies. So I got two of those now. Um, What is this? What am I using this for? Why did I need this mini pine cone tree thing? Don't know. Um, This twine. It's colorful. We got this... Oh, look, another bow that I made at some point. Um, this thing, this actually looks fun. I've been using um, this thing from Dollar Tree this year. A lot of this, I cut it up, and I've been using that. And also the gold ones that I cut up. And also these leafy things that I cut up. See, look. Just got tons of those that I've been using for my Christmas crafting this year. Um, okay, so this oh yeah i showed you the guys that there's this thingy i think these are from ac more because i went there when they were shutting down um and i got some stuff these trimming things this little deer um this would be cute um on like like a shadow box or something or maybe like if you're if i decorate a frame i bought them because something inspired me um, I don't know if that's true. I buy because I think I could use it for something. No, I don't always have a plan. Um, okay. There's this ribbon. Oh, this was on one of those things before because this is all I got left. I used a lot of this this last year. I love those leafy things from Dollar Tree. Yes, they're so fun. Oh, look, I have another leafy thingy. This one's cute too. I found an orange one from Dollar Tree this year, too, but after I finished fall crafting, and then I was like, oh, man. Oh, look, I got Mary Day's washi. I never use washi. I'm putting that in my D-stash. Oh, look, I do have a Mary Day's pile. Oh, my goodness. I just bought the Mary Day's collection from somebody because I didn't think I had Mary Day's. Apparently, I do. Snow and cocoa washi. Oh. God, I don't use washi. These bows. Oh, I have some of this trim. Oh my goodness. I was trying to find this today. I was like, where can I get me some like light bulb trim? I'm like typing in light bulb trim. I'm typing in light trim. I'm typing in light ribbon, like Christmas light ribbon, Christmas lights ribbon. And I was like, I couldn't find them anywhere online. And oh my goodness, I have some. And I have this trim. This not ex as exciting as this one was, though. Okay, do you guys want to see Merry Days? Or are you guys familiar with Merry Days? But now I have a lot of Merry Days. 
Okay, I guess we could actually use some. Oh, I'm going to make some maybe more, some more Christmas traveler's notebooks since I have so much merry days. Okay. Do we want to see this? Maybe you guys aren't familiar with the merry days collection. But for real though, I thought I had no merry days and I just bought it from somebody. My goodness. I should have went through my stash beforehand. So here's the ephemera from from merry days it's got glitter accents here's the back so there's that i will let you know if i'm willing to de-stash it oh look i have some stamps i think i got this in a de-stash because i never take off the price tags so i might have gotten that in a de-stash i oh yeah i think i got in this last year in a de-stash and then this year i bought more because i didn't think i had any so there's this Oh, I love this plaid sheet. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is about me and plaid. I actually really love um, this sheet as well. And the swans. How stinking cute. What can I make with a 6x8 paper pad? It's not big enough for my traveler's notebooks that I make. I showed you guys that. Um, I did get this in a stash because there's some random jemmies in here. Which I'm going to put aside and put with my jemmies pile. Um, there's these puffy stickers, and then here is the paper from Merry Days. So I'll show you guys the 12 by 12. My goodness, I'm excited. I didn't know I had two of these, and I love, like, the swan paper. I skipped a bunch. Let's start all over. And I love the swan paper in here. There's the train again. Sorry, guys, I'm not even paying attention to comments right now. Um... But now I feel like I'd actually use it. Oh my god, look how cute. Are these ducks or swans? I think they're swans, right? I think they're swans. How cute, a little hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. When did Merry Days come out? I don't even know. It came out... Does it have a year on here? 2019. Oh, this is last year. How come I never knew about it? Um. Okay, let me put this back in my... I honestly did not know I had Mary Days. You guys want to see this? Hold on. Here's the Mary Days I got this year. I guess now I have some chipboard, right? And a whole other paper pad. And then some single sheets as well. Some double-sided single sheets that I got in a D-stash. So there's more Mary Days. Okay, um, where'd my envelope go? I think that's it, guys, actually. I think that's it for my, um, my Christmas crazy stash video. Yeah, I think that's it. You guys see this mess? Look what you guys did. Look at this, look at this mess. Look what you guys did. I blame you guys. Now I have to clean this all up. <laughs> Hi, Sydney. We're just about finished. I just finished sharing my stash, and we discovered that I had already owned merry days and yet i just bought some from somebody else that was getting rid of it because i didn't know i had it so i probably should have done this video ahead of time but you know why does this look different though look at this the this the eight by the six by eight looks more blue than the actual collection that looks more green does it just me or does it look different you need merry days in your life now I'm gonna see if I don't, if I, I really like, I have, I have this thing guys, it's called Foro. I made it up and it's, it's the fear of running out. Um, so, I mean, I have both, I have FOMO and I have Foro. So fear of missing out because I mean, I wasn't a crafter last year and I was like, I mean, I just started crafting last year rather. And I just discovered all of this paper and then I wanted all the like previous collections. But now it's like, I got all the previous collections, but now I got to get all the new stuff because I don't want to miss out now. But then I just bought another Hey Santa. Oh, I didn't even show you guys Hey Santa. Let me show you guys that. Um, I bought another Hey Santa paper pad because I don't want to run out. So it's, it's, a, it's a real problem. All right, hold on. Here's some more stuff. Here's my Hey Santa collection. Um... We got the ephemera. 
I'm actually crafting with this just now. Yeah, I just started crafting last year, so all of this is basically from last year. That's the sad part. I had no boxes of anything until I started crafting and I started building my stuff last year. I, I didn't even own a box and now I have three Christmas boxes. Like what is wrong with me? You guys saw my receipts on my post on my stories. That's just from this year. And that's just like the stuff that I bought in store. Here's the puffy stickers from Hey Santa. Here's um, the sticker thing. <laughs> you, yeah, you love the four issue. It's a real thing. I even bought um, a second, um, a second, what am I saying? A second um, Hey Pumpkin, because I was crafting with that this year. Um, for Halloween and I was like this is so cute I don't want to run out and I bought another one so now I have two hay pumpkin paper pads did I show you guys this a six by eight oh, no I didn't I just started showing you guys hey Santa um, I showed you guys the ephemera here's the sticker sheet my issue is called hoarding crafts that is um probably my issue too um I mean like it is but is it like, I'm actually using it when I get to it. Um, I have my Hey Santa sequin mix. When I made it, I saved some for myself because it goes so great with the collection. Look how great it goes. It's so cute. Um, so I saved some for myself. It's actually just sold out of my shop. So there's no more of that. Um, wait, let me get to the chipboard. I don't know why it's flipped around. Um, hold on. Oh, okay, hold on. So I have this chipboard that is no longer in the baggie because I was going to use it this year. Or oh, I think I was going to use it. I used it for my swap. Some part of Hey Santa I used for my swap. And now I'm crafting with it again today. And then here's the Hey Santa paper pad. So I have some scrappy scraps. And then here's the rest. I love Hey Santa. There's one, if anybody wants the Hey Santa collection, I just got it from KG Crafts. She has one more left on in her shop. So if you guys want Hey Santa, go get it. I was just talking to her before and I snatched one up. She said she was like, I only had two left and you just got one. Thanks for the stash hour. Has it only been an hour? I thought it's been like two. I feel like I've been... Boro is fear of running out. I made it up. <laughs> it's when I am here in England. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by, Jacqueline. Thank you. Okay, I also got this. This year, I didn't get all. I mean, I I think this is the whole collection. No, it's, I don't think it's the whole collection. So, I wasn't going to get it. This is Winter Cottage by Simple Stories. It's It's cute. Um, but I seem to like, I don't know. I started liking collections, but I still love my 12 by 12 paper pads because, um, my 12 by 12 paper pads, because those are better for albums. And if you guys saw my haul video, I got some like wedding paper recently. And I'm like, I don't even know if I have enough of that paper to make my album, but I'm going to pull from something else that I have, like some other paper. Um, yes, I am going to have more crafty time now. Schools did go remote. Um, as of tomorrow, we're fully remote again. Um, here's Winter Cottage. Let me take it out. Um, so, f uh, fully remote tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow's going to be a long day. We got parent-teacher conferences till 7.30 on Zoom. So, I mean, that's not going to be so fun. But, um, I'm not going to have the commuting time now. So, that will give me some extra crafty time, which is going to be great. Here is Winter Cottage, Simple Stories. This kind of is like a fall Christmassy vibe, but I really, I really like it. It also just reminds me of crepe paper. That is a problem. I watch hauls all the time and then people want make me want to go buy stuff. Like that Sugar Plums paper by Michaels. I went to like three different stores before I found it at one Michaels and then I started seeing them pop up everywhere afterwards. But like I bought it and I'm looking at it today and I'm like, I don't even know if I like this. I kind of like the purples because I don't like purple. I don't know. 
Um, here's the winter cottage. Did anybody else pick up this collection this year? And doesn't it kind of look like crepe paper? Right? Isn't this so cute? You guys need to tell me. Did you get it? Like, look at this. I don't even know how to say that. I tried to say it in my haul video the other day. And I sounded, oh my god, ridiculous. I was trying to say that. Oh my God. You got two more of the sugar plum one. Oh my goodness, Rebecca. Thank you, Sandra, for linking Cage of Crafts. If anybody wants that one last taste Anta paper pad, go snatch it up. Um, purple and black are your favorite colors? Really? I mean, black is a shade that is not a color, but I understand what you meant. <laughs> um, and I don't like purple though. I don't know. Here's the stickers. Okay, and then, um, oh yeah, that's it. I also got some stuff from Tuesday morning that's not even in here yet. Um, the Holly Jolly Simple Stories as well. I got that this year from Tuesday morning. And I got a winter, I think a snowflake, winter snowflake or something. But I have a haul video on that, so I don't need to show you guys. Oh, you're not happy with Sugar Plum either? Okay, good, because I thought I was probably the only one. I don't know, I don't. Like, I seem to love red and greens for Christmas. I'm more traditional than I am pastel for Christmas. And I, I don't know. I I don't know. I just, like, snow and cocoa, I love it, and it looks beautiful. But, like, it's, it's so cute, but, like, I don't know. I prefer my red and greens. And I, I really like Hey Santa because it's red-green. And then you throw in a little bit of pink in there and it's like perfect. But it's still got the traditional colors, which is why I love it so much. Michaels needs to come out with the femur packs for their paper. Um, I agree, but maybe I also disagree because then I'm going to want to buy it all. And I always buy you ephemera, which I really need to stop because... You create paper, ephemera especially, it's just so big, and then I never use half of it. And I always buy two packs of it for some reason. Why do I buy two packs? And then I don't use it, and I really just shouldn't buy ephemera anymore. So now I started buying two chipboards and two ephemeras, because apparently I can't say no to saying two, buying two ephemeras that I don't use. I don't know. That was my Christmas stash, my ridiculous Christmas stash. All right. Bye, everybody. See ya. Good night.